In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on a Synology NAS. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time with us, please consider subscribing and hit that little bell so that you're alerted to when I release new content. So previously I did a couple of videos on how to host websites using a Synology NAS. Since doing those videos, I've been asked by several viewers to do a video on how to install WordPress to run on Synology. Now, not being a WordPress user, I kind of avoided having to do such a video. However, I've been asked yet again. So this video is going to show you how to do the technical installation piece of getting WordPress to run on a Synology. I probably won't do any further videos beyond getting the technical aspects and getting WordPress installed but at least I've answered the viewers and from that point they can take it from there. That being said, let's hop over to the computer. Okay guys, I'm signed into my Synology. I'm in the package center and I'm looking at the installed packages. But first, before we go any further with this video, if you didn't see the videos I did in the past on how to host your own website on a Synology and how to host multiple websites on a Synology, then I strongly suggest you watch those videos first before proceeding with installing WordPress on your Synology. This video builds upon some of the steps we covered in those two previous videos. That being said, today we're going to pick up with installing another necessary component to run WordPress, and that's the Maria database. So let's come up to the search bar and type in Maria and hit enter. And here you'll see the Maria database one zero or ten and we'll click on install and it's prompting us for a new password the password has to be at least 10 characters it must include an uppercase lowercase a number and a special character so let's do that now and this is the password for the database Let's click next. It just confirms and we're going to leave check to run after installation. Let's click apply. Now that we have Maria installed, let's go back up to the search bar and let's search for WordPress. And let's go ahead and click install. Now it's asking for the password for the root user for the Maria database. And that's the password we created in the previous step. So we need to enter that here. Let's click next. And now it's asking for a password for the WordPress database users. So we're just going to create a password, same credentials, 10 characters, one uppercase, one number, and a special character. Let's click next. And again, it's just confirming everything and we're going to leave check to run after installation. Let's go ahead and say apply. Okay, now that we have WordPress installed, let's go back and click on our installed packages. And let's just double check to make sure both are running. So Maria is here. Let's click on that and we can see that the status is running. Let's go back and let's look for WordPress, which is here. Let's click on it and we can see that the status for WordPress is also running. The next step is to configure the web station. So I'm in the web station now. The way I got here was by just going up to the main menu and clicking on web station here. Let's look at the general settings. We need to set our backend server. So we're going to use Apache 2.4. That's good. And the PHP 7.2. That's fine as well. Let's come on down to virtual host. And if you did see the last two videos, these are the websites 
the domains that we created in those previous videos. So what we need to do now is create a domain for WordPress. So we're going to click on create. I want to give it a host name. Now, if you don't have a host name, you can just call it WordPress. If you have a host name, you can enter it here. We'll just call it WordPress for now. We're going to leave port 80 and 443 checked. Now with document root, we're going to come here and we're going to assign the documents root folder. And this is where all the files for your website will live. So let's click on browse. And let's go down to the web folder. And here are the folders that I created in the previous two videos and the WordPress installation created a folder for WordPress. So we're going to select that and click select. Now that we've set our document root folder, we're going to just make sure our backend server here is set to Apache 2.4 and PHP. We're going to select 7.2 and we're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we've added our third virtual host for here it is for WordPress. Now that we have everything that we need installed and configured, let's test it out and see if it works. So let's come here and let's type in So it's just simply the address of my NAS and then the WordPress folder. Let's hit enter. And there you go. Okay, now we need to go through a little bit of the setup process and I'm not going to do much here, but I'll at least get you to a certain point. So let's go ahead and for me, it's English. So we'll click continue. We've arrived at the welcome screen and we just need to give WordPress a little bit more information. So we'll give it a site title. I'll just call it test website. The username will be Tony. The password, I'm going to change it. And it's very weak, but that's fine. It's just for the purpose of this video. We'll click on confirm use of weak password and I'll put in an email here and I'll just put in my YouTube email for now. And then we're going to go ahead and say install WordPress. Okay, we've been successful with the installation. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in. So we're, we use the username that we created in the previous step and the password. And we'll say log in. And there you go, guys. Now we have WordPress installed and running on Synology NAS. If you found any value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you for using those Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, I thank you for watching. Please stay safe and happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there.